Hey everybody, let's do a set of pretzel of the day to work on your flutes. If you don't know how to do pretzel, watch my tutorial to know how to do it. Otherwise I will explain here, but it'll be a faster explanation. Your right knee comes in front of your right hip. Right knee is also in line with your right heel. It's at a 90 degree angle. Bring your left fingertips out to the side of your right thigh and then your right hand out to the side. Lift your left leg off the ground. Flex your foot today and pull your heel to your seat. Start to lift your knee up, hold, up, hold. All right, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like from the side. You keep pulsing up with a hold, forcing you to hold that kind of really tight position. So from the side, it looks like this, all right? So if you did a karate chop with your elbow into your waist, your knee would be a little behind your hand, okay? We don't want it all the way back, so a lot of times in class, I'll come by and scoot your knee forward. So it's almost in line with your hip, just really that inch behind. And then you're pressing into your fingertips. Press out of them if you wanna work into your left oblique right here. Lay into them if you need to get that leg up a little higher. And your foot is flexed, your heels pull, pulled into your seat. Now you're gonna add a press back. So it's pulse up, press back, up and back, up and back, two moves. All right, precise movement. Someone walking by would actually know exactly what you're doing. They'd say, oh, they're lifting and then pressing back an inch. That's how precise your movements are. So you're not flailing around. Now, if you wanna add a little more work to this for your left obliques, you're gonna press out of your fingertips. Maybe even come onto straight arms like this so that you're pressing into your left oblique so you get that crunch there. If that feels like too much, you can lean over even more. It does not matter how high your leg is. So if your leg is here, okay, you're putting a lot of work into your shoulders, into your back, I want you to just lift out of it and just take a, a bend of your elbows, but focus on putting weight into that glute. Now just press back here, back and back. Now see, so you can see my toes on my left side. Try to lift my toes higher than my knee to really get this hip to square forward. So another thing I'll do in class is I'll come over, take my hand to your hip here and press it forward. Your hip should face the front. They should face your knee, okay? So you're almost trying to get your left knee to face your right knee. That's really hard to do. That takes a lot of strength. That's what you're working on here. Now roll your shoulder blades down and pull your shoulder blades back so you're not sinking into your arms and leaning forward like this. Inhaling and exhaling. Kick your heel in to finish with a flex foot kick in, 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 like you're kicking your own butt, okay? So it looks like this, in, 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 okay? You're finishing here, okay? This is the last thing that you have to do. Then we're gonna switch over to do some hamstring work on the same left side in a kneeling seat position. If you prefer, you could do a fold over. If you just wanna make it a little more challenging, if this is like the only thing you're doing today, you might wanna take that option. 10 more counts, nine, eight heels kicking in, for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, flip onto all fours. Flex your left foot, bring your heel into your seat. Press up with a hold. Up hold, up hold. Okay, so now we're in our kneeling seat position here. Couple of options, any wrist injury, shoulder issues, you feel like you just need a little more support today. You're gonna come down to your forearms, okay? So instead of going out on straight arms, you're gonna come down onto your forearms, okay? Everybody's knee is as high as you can get it without arching your back. So this is me with my back rounded, my belly pulled in, trying to activate my core. This is me when I arch my back. See how my back arches like that? So if you're gonna arch your back, it's better to lower your knee, pull your belly and tuck your hips. Now add a kick and up your heel. So it's up, heel kicks in, up and in. Double check that your right hip is over your right knee. 90 degree angle, not leaning back like this, not leaning forward like this. Double check all that stuff. Perfect form here. Some of you can take that right hand, place it behind your head or extend it out or small of your back for a little balance challenge. Almost done. Up and in, up and in here. How, see how my belly's kind of trying to stick out? My back is arched. It almost feels like I'm getting a nice stretch in my upper body. We don't want that. We don't want to get that stretch. We want to pull our belly in, tuck your hips under, up and in, up and in, up, in. Up and in. Again, that challenge option is there. Just kick in here, last 30. We do pretzel on the other side, then we stretch. Belly in, hips tucked. Hips face the ground like headlights on a car. You're not looking at your belly button, you're looking in front of your fingertips. Inhale, exhale. Last 10 counts here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. There's no stretch, we just go right into pretzel on the other side in two, and one, slide that left knee in front now. Left heel in line with your left knee. Right hand behind you, hands out to the side. Leg lifts up, flex that full pulse, pulse up with a hold. Up hold. Square this hip down, okay? Try not to let your hip open up. Try not to put any weight in the back of your body. All the weight is being pressed forward. Again, trying to get this front hip down. Now again, if you wanna watch that tutorial and have it set up for pretzel, that's just gonna help you get into the position every time. But just to double check, 
You did a karate chop, elbow into waist. Your knee would be behind, it wouldn't be in front. Okay, you gotta get a little behind. It would not be all the way back here. See, once I'm back here, I can't even bring my hip to face my left knee because it's so far open. So you wanna be able to try and get into that position. Now we have a flex foot and we're pulsing a pull. Shoulder blades are pulled back, belly's pulled in. Maybe you're feeling a crunch in your obliques, maybe not. You can straighten your arms to get more of a crunch or you can even come down a little lower if that leg is just having a lot of trouble staying up. Again, doesn't matter how high your leg is. Add a kick in here, pulse up, heel kicks in. I'll show that again in profile so you can see what that looks like. Up and in, up, in, up and in. Relax those shoulders. Now press back, go up, press back, up and back, up, little back. Tiny movements, precise movements. So it's trying to warm up that hamstring before we got into a little more of this side seat here. Inhaling and exhaling, breathe into this exercise. I know it's getting really tight. You're gonna get to go on all fours. We're gonna finish with that right side for your hamstring in five, relax the shoulders, four, three, Two, now go back to those kick-ins, kick in, in. Now see, I'm trying to get my toes, I'm trying to show you my toes in the camera, my right toes, it's so hard, forces me to square my hip down, trying to get that heel up, helps you dig more into the side of your seat. Relax those shoulders, okay? If you need to, you can lean over a little more, or challenge, lean it over a little less. Straight arms. 10 counts here, 10. We're flipping onto all fours, hamstring work on the other side, and then we'll take a stretch, I promise, in four, three, two, and one release. All fours, right leg bends in half, heel to seat, pulse up with a hold, up hold. All right, so now as you do this, you have that option coming down to your forearms here. That helps your back get in the right position almost automatically. It's kind of hard to be in the wrong position here. You actually have to try and move your body out of it. So as long as you're here and pull your belly in, you're gonna be in the perfect position. Now, if you decide you wanna do this on straight arms, you know, this is your shoulder workout for the day. You just wanna make sure that you're not sinking all your weight into your left hand. In fact, you want all the weight to be in your right. Maybe your left hand can come onto your back, out to the side. Now, as you pulse up, think of squeezing your right glute, it squeeze hold. And I'm not gonna open my hip out to the side. I'm gonna keep my hip closed and square. Right heel pulls into your seat. You're gonna add up, heel kicks in. Up, in, two moves up, no rebound. Okay, this is what rebound means when it goes like this. I'm just letting momentum take it. You gotta hold it in there. Squeeze, so you're squeezing your glute, squeezing your hamstring, squeeze glute, hamstring, glute. Hamstring, round back, pull your belly in. Now I say round back, you're not gonna be able to round your back like in a cat cow just because of where your leg is. So by pulling your belly in, trying to round your back, you're gonna tuck your hips a little bit, you'll be in the right position. Now kick that heel in, in, last thing, okay? Each bar of bar class is about six to seven minutes, okay? So even though the thigh might feel super long, I promise it's like six to seven minutes. This also should be about six to seven minutes, but I tend to go long on glutes because it's my favorite part to work. Inhaling and exhaling. Give me 10 more, we're gonna stretch that all out. You get a child's pose in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Child's pose, have a seat. Palms face the ceiling, thumbs pull down toward the mat. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands to the right, sink into your left hip. Switch sides, hands to the left, sink into your right hip. Let's stretch those hamstrings. You're gonna have a seat on your glutes. Extend your legs out straight. Arms go up, fold forward here. Reaching for the balls of your feet. Whatever you can reach for though. Maybe that's your knees, maybe that's your calves, maybe ankles, maybe balls of your feet. Whatever you're reaching for, just reach for today. And then everyone flex your feet so hard your heels come off the ground. Feel that stretch go into the back of your leg. Inhale, exhale. You can pull back on the balls of your feet if you're there. And let's just stretch out those obliques. We did some oblique work. You can come here or you can come into a lotus position. Twist over to the right, open up your shoulders, look behind you. Switch sides, switch your lotus if you're doing the lotus. Again, twist up, look behind you. Inhale, exhale. Come back to center and you're all done with your seat set. If you're trying to do a full bar class, you wanna to head to some abs next. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.